Here is how you find the energy added in the form of heat to a gas when the process takes place with a constant volume. Okay, so we start out, we have to estimate the original volume and the original pressure. I would estimate this original volume at about 1.61 meters cubed. I would estimate the original pressure at around 80 kilopascals. We have 54 moles and we use our formula PV equals NRT to find the temperature. Remember the work in Pascals and remember your ideal gas constant is 8.31. This gives us a starting temperature of 287 Kelvin. We could then find the kinetic energy of the molecules inside the chamber by using the formula of the kinetic energy of a mole of particles at a certain temperature is equal to 3 halves RT. Once you get that, multiply by 54 since we have 54 moles. Your answer will be very large, so I would give that answer in kilojoules. And in this case, it's 193 kilojoules. This is the kinetic energy before we add any heat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the box with the gas. And when we do that, you can see heat being added to the gas. There's a pin in the wall, so we cannot expand our chamber. You could see from the graph that the pressure inside the chamber went up. We're now at a pressure of around 239. We still have the same volume. We still have the same number of moles. So once again, we want to calculate the new temperature. And that'll come out to be about 857 Kelvin and the new kinetic energy. Remember to use the formula for the kinetic energy for a mole of average particles and we get 577 kilojoules. That is the amount of kilojoules that the particles contain after the heat has been added. So we take that, we subtract off the original kinetic energy And that will tell us how much the kinetic energy has changed by, and that will be equal to the heat that has been added to our system. That will come out to be 384 kilojoules. Okay, so at that point, when you're ready to test your answer, simply click on the end button, type in your name, type in the number of kilojoules, and hit submit. You can see we were very close to the actual value. Any errors that came up were in our estimations of the pressures and the volumes.